What I'm going to share with you in today's video is going to change your agency forever in a good way. You see, the agency space is becoming extremely saturated. And unless you take the advice I'm about to share with you in this video, then you're going to get drowned in a bunch of noise and you're not gonna be able to grow your agency. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lawrence. I've built and scaled two agencies, Lawrence Marketing and Hey You, where we now help other agencies to grow by putting more appointments on their sales calendar. Let's rewind the clock slightly and look at how the SMMA industry has got to where it is today. Back in the day, we used to be able to sell our services just based on the platform that we were operating on. I remember when I first started selling Facebook ads, all of my messaging was around why people should be using Facebook ads. And people came to me because they wanted to run Facebook ads. It wasn't because of me, it wasn't because of what I could offer them, it was just that I knew how to run Facebook ads and they wanted to run Facebook ads. So that was the first kind of way that people got clients when it came to SMMA when in, in the digital space. When that became kind of saturated, I guess, we started selling based on our terms. No minimum monthly commitment, pricing, that sort of stuff. When we kind of moved on from that, people started selling based on desired outcomes, which is where pretty much the market is right now. And if you're not there, then you absolutely should be. Gone are the days where you can sell your service based off the service and just expect that nice terms are going to make people want to work with you. And it simply just doesn't work in today's world or it doesn't work at scale. So now everybody is selling desired outcomes. So they're no longer selling SEO services, for example, they're selling the thing that SEO services can do for them. But there is a new thing, a new method that smart agency owners are implementing that goes one step further than a desired outcome. And this is what this video is all about. And it is an introduction to the concept as opposed to a in-depth analysis of the entire concept. And if you want me to go into more detail about this, at the end of the video, just let me know in the comment section and I can do a much deeper dive into what we're about to talk about today. And what I am referencing is a unique mechanism. What is a unique mechanism? Well, it is a new way to achieve a desired outcome, a new unheard of and better way to get a desired outcome. Because as I said, the SMMA industry is becoming saturated. There's lots of competition offering the same desired outcome. And then the way that people try and improve that and try and beat their competitors is by offering more in a shorter time period. And you get this kind of incestuous thing going on where everybody's trying to beat everybody at their own game. And now you're offering hundreds of leads and 10 times return on ad spend, or we'll give you $60,000, which I've genuinely seen in an advert. So everybody's trying to beat one another. But we don't need to be able to beat one another. We don't need to be able to, you know, offer more outlandish claims. We can be smarter than that and talk about a unique and better way to achieve the end result that the client is looking for. That's what a unique mechanism is. Now, don't get this confused with a unique selling proposition, a USP. They're two very different things. And 99.9% .9 of businesses do not have a USP. Being established for the last 15 years is not a USP. It's not unique. There are many businesses in your industry that have been established the amount of time that you have, for example. Uber, for example, they had a unique selling point when you could order a taxi from your phone and you could see how long until it arrived and then lift another kind of taxi companies arrived and did the same thing and then uber lost its unique selling point so unique selling point is definitely not a unique 
mechanism. So a unique mechanism, just to reiterate, is a better and different way to get your client to their end goals. Why is a unique mechanism needed? Why is it why is it good? As I say, lots and lots of competition out there. Everybody's trying to better themselves. And what a unique mechanism allows us to do is start selling the mechanism as opposed to selling ourselves. Because there's so many comparisons to most agencies. Very few agencies differ from the next agency and the next agency and the you know the hundreds others. Very difficult to differentiate. When you have a unique mechanism, and the clue is in the name, it is unique, only you have that way of delivering those results. And it allows you to create a big gap from your competitors and allow this a big difference basically to occur between you and your clients. When we create that unique mechanism and we do it properly, what it really does is it creates a all roads lead to us scenario because if we sell that unique mechanism properly what we're doing is we're we're selling the unique mechanism your prospect is saying yeah i want that thing i want that unique mechanism and you're the only you're the gatekeeper to that unique mechanism you're the only person that can deliver it so therefore they have to work with you if they want that unique mechanism so what it does is it puts you in a category of one and it means that all roads lead to you because there is no alternative if they want that unique mechanism. It's extremely powerful if you do it right. And it allows us also to use what's called education-based marketing. So instead of trying to use marketing to sell ourselves all the time, and people have become so immune and numb to reading messages about why you're so good, why we're the best, why we're this, why we're that. And it's all very kind of, it's been done and it's been heard hundreds of times before. But when you start using your marketing to educate people about a unique mechanism, not your unique mechanism, but a unique mechanism, which happens to be yours, then people's perceptions change and they go from I'm being sold to, to I'm being taught. And their sales barrier goes down and they start to listen more because they want to learn and when they're learning something new you're creating this hope in their in their mind that they think this is the thing that i've been missing this is the thing that i need that i've been searching for to help me solve this problem which is going to take my business and skyrocket it. so it provides a level of hope when you use education-based marketing as opposed to just constantly talking about yourself. And also when you use education-based marketing, it also attracts a, a more sophisticated prospect. And that generally means that you're able to charge higher fees as well. So there's lots and lots of upside to using and creating a unique mechanism. But the problem is, is you can have kind of fake and real unique mechanisms. And what we don't want to do is create some catchy name to our service and call it a unique mechanism because it isn't unique. We need to actually have some unique way of delivering results. So what we can't do is just throw a kind of fancy name over it and expect it to become this unique mechanism because then when you're teaching people about it and you're using that education-based marketing, they're going to see right through it and they're going to know that they've, you know, they've heard all this before. So it needs to actually be properly unique mechanism and there's too much to it to go into how to create one in this video but as i say if you want me to go into more detail then just let me know in the comment section below and i'll create a more detailed video around this so that's a unique mechanism to give you an example we have a couple of different unique mechanisms in our business depending on what stage our clients are at when we're helping them to take them from less appointments to more appointments basically so we have a unique mechanism built around creating an offer that's going to really stand out so not just creating a normal offer but creating what we call a category of one offer that is one of our unique mechanisms another one of our unique mechanisms is how we're able to create extremely personalized sequences and copy at an extremely high scale as well so we remove that bottleneck of basically time which a lot of people struggle with 
they know that if they want to get seriously good results with their outreach, then they need to use personalization. But the problem is, is it takes so long. We've been able to remove that bottleneck for our clients through a unique mechanism. So when we talk about unique mechanisms or our unique mechanism to our prospects, they're genuinely interested because they've never heard of it before because it is genuinely unique to us and nobody else is using it, nobody else is doing it. If you want to get away from this hamster wheel i guess of always trying to outdo your competitors and make these more outlandish claims about desired results and the volume of them then you need to start using a unique mechanism in your business if you want help doing that if you want help and allow us to come into your business and help you create that unique mechanism allow you to stand out from your competition and get potential clients booking onto your calendar in droves then the first link in the description if you click that you will find out exactly how we can help so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one